Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about um, dreams and LSD and the things that they have in common. The three molecules that I'm going to be talking about the most today are melatonin, serotonin, and acetylcholine. All three are neurotransmitters and play different roles in stages of sleeping. So melatonin works by relaxing the body and the muscles and puts us to a sleep state. Then serotonin takes its part and takes over and starts to trigger dreams. Then serotonin levels drop and acetylcholine levels rise when REM sleep is entered and that is where we have our most vivid dreams and sometimes our best lucid dreams. So essentially, LSD works by entering your bloodstream, then entering your brain for the BBB, or the blood-brain barrier, and then it connects itself to serotonin receptors, and that kind of just messes with um, neurotransmission. So it creates a bunch of different new patterns and can um, confuse you and make you feel like you know, you're on acid. <laughs> I've always just guessed that being in a dream state is extremely similar to being on acid, although I have no idea. But um, I would assume that like in a dream state, you are somewhat aware of reality, but to only a certain extent. And um, hallucinations and things that could never happen in reality uh, are perceived to happen in your reality. So I thought that there would be a direct link to what happens when you take LSD and to what happens when you are asleep and dreaming. The link I came up with was serotonin. So serotonin plays a huge role in triggering dreams and it also seems to play a huge role in the hallucinations people have when they're on LSD. Um, <clears throat> when people are extreme alcoholics and very depressed, serotonin levels are really low and um, dreaming is also really low. So uh, we can connect serotonin to dreams sort of through alcoholism. And what's cool about this connection is also its connection to LSD. So when an alcoholic stops cold turkey for, with drinking, uh, they often have hallucina hallucinations like one might have on LSD because the brain is uh, sort of making up for all the lost serotonin as soon as it can because alcohol inhibits the brain from creating it. So as soon as it's able, it's kind of like, woohoo! Serotonin is 70% off. I'm going to make as much as I can of it. And this causes hallucinations for people. Um, acetylcholine is linked with vivid dreams and dreaming in general. And I read online about a study done, an underground study done, <clears throat> or maybe like an experiment done, where someone took things that helped the brain create acetylcholine with LSD in order to have a more memorable trip because acetylcholine is also associated with memory and what happened was their trip was extremely vivid and the hallucinations were um, much more potent and powerful than they were without acetylcholine uh, helping their trip along. So I think that there is definitely a connection to be made between lucid dreaming and LSD. And I am extremely curious to see um, maybe any studies done in the future linking these two things together and what links that they have. Unfortunately, it's pretty taboo to use human test subjects and pretty taboo to use LSD in... Um, research, so there's not very much that's been done, although I think that uh, if done humanely and ethic 
likely it could be. Um, please share your concerns or opinions, experiences, or anything like that in the comments below. Tell me what you think about um, the similarities and differences of an acid trip and a lucid dream. And I will be making another video soon.